Hey everyone, welcome back to part three. Now, before we actually go over to the new office, this is roughly two days before, I did actually wanna show you guys all of the progress that I did make off camera. So over here is still the 60 pops that I'm using to have a recording background. As you can see, the uh, glass shelf is completely empty. Over there is empty. The shelves are empty. This is the remaining stuff that's kind of just floating around the office. This corner just has the light and a tripod. And then I cleaned off the desk a significant amount, put a lot of the stuff in the uh, filing cabinet there. And then even the, uh, even the closet is completely empty for the most part, just the TV. Uh, box for the downstairs TV because we don't have a lot of storage and then that is my chair mat that will be going in the other office since we have carpet uh, We have the Skittle Rampage sign right there and yeah guys, it's uh the office is uh, getting empty, it's getting empty. Now this Tuesday is actually moving day. That's when we're gonna put everything in the truck, probably all the shelves. I'll pack up this last box of pops and then we're gonna move the desk and I'll probably, uh, I'll take down my monitors that day. Actually tomorrow, Monday, I'll probably take down my monitors so I can bring them over. As well as the PC, I'll probably pack that up and just have to edit on my laptop for a couple days until we get internet over there. But I just kind of wanted to update you guys the status of the office. I did vacuum, I cleaned the floor a little bit. I do still have a couple more things to clean, but I'll probably skip over to us packing a little bit as well as going into the office. But I wanted to give you one last update here. Hey guys, so we are now in the new office and I kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like on camera here. So just kind of showing you guys, this is what it looks like. We do have carpet, which is really nice. Um, over here is the closet and it's actually a much deeper closet, which I'm happy about. So I can store a lot more stuff, especially on the floor and stack it up. And uh, we do have up there as well, a little vent. I Why is there a vent in here? Oh, one of my favorite features, where is it? This actually has a light, and it's so great. The other one didn't. That's where all my stuff is currently. Like, um, I haven't set up the office yet, and I can't find my desk screws, so I've been having to use the table here kind of like to record with with the camera and the little tripod. That's the bench I'm sitting on, and then I use the window for light, and then I have my other lights. But yeah, this is kind of all I have in here so far. Over here, guys, as you can see, these are two of the shelves we need, so we gotta clear off all of this stuff. Here is Bailey enjoying her new um, Pokemon Violet game. She's really tired. I'm so tired. We went to the midnight release. They had an extra copy, thankfully. And then there's Nala. Uh, she always looks angry for some reason. But there's Nala. She, we actually put a collar on her recently, and she likes it. So, yeah, everyone say hi to Nala. So, I'm coming into frame now, and we're bringing up the shelves. It's really difficult because it has like a little divot here down on the shelf, but it's okay. And we're just gonna bring in four shelves just like this one into the office all the way over there. So I'll be right back. So I think this is like my eighth box taking up and I am so tired. I am beyond tired. Well, good news, I found the Dragon Ball Z, but I definitely don't have the strength of Goku. Oh my God, I hate the scares. I have great news though, again, I found Spider-Man, but I can't do Whatever a spider can. I wish I could. You know, I just realized that was my 12th box. I had so many more pops than I realized. I'm literally sweating and it's like seven, I set it down to 70, but I'm moving so much that I am physically so tired. And I'm wearing sweatpants. I'm sweating. I don't know if that means I'm out of shape, but I was carrying the shelves up and then those boxes that probably weigh like 40 pounds from all the pops, maybe, okay, like 30 overestimated, but I'm tired, I'm out of breath. I'm like, I haven't been to the gym in like a month and a half, I'm not gonna lie. We've been so busy looking for houses. I, I, gotta, I gotta go back to the gym. <laughs> So we brought in most of my pops. I think there might be one or two more boxes down there and one tote. 
However, all of these are supposed to fit on those four shelves. And luckily I was able to find this bag, and don't worry, there's not like a diamond ring in there, but um, it does have all my screws to my desk, my monitors, and the little tabs for the shelves, for those little uh, metal prongs right there. So thank God I found this bag because it literally has everything I need. Now, unfortunately it is four o'clock in the morning and I do have a very important video to film that you guys will probably see by the time that this video does go up. Um, so I have to get up early for that. So I can't finish this tonight, but we will pick this back up tomorrow and start placing pops on shelves. Hey guys, so it is a new day and today we're gonna start putting the pops on the shelves. Now, I technically already put some pops on the shelves, but I gotta take them back off because I was recording a video earlier today. And this is how everything looks in the office currently. I was doing an unboxing video that you guys probably have seen already. If you haven't, make sure to check it out. But I put some dummy pops on the shelves of uh, pops that are usually down there that you guys don't usually see. So I gotta clean all this up. And then something else I wanna do is, um, I wanna corner the shelves off because I realized with the lights, they kind of shine directly on the boxes, so it kind of messes up, and it leaves a lot of the glare you're kind of seeing. So if I corner it off, it's not as bad. So I'm gonna take some of the shelves, and I'm gonna corner them off. Okay, so in part two, Bailey was watching it, and she said it wasn't as enjoyable because I didn't show more of the process of everything. I kind of just showed clips and things were done. So I figured I would record some of it and hopefully make it a little bit more enjoyable. So we're gonna be moving these boxes out of the way. We're gonna put one of the shelves in the corner there, and then one on the side, one on the side, and then fill the rest of the walls with shelves. I only have five shelves currently, one is unbuilt, and then uh, after that we're gonna start building, uh, or putting up the pops on the shelves and kind of dividing them into that specific uh, category. All right, so this box is a little heavier. What is in this? Oh, this is my big pops. This actually has the uh, Lou Futh Going Mary in it. I bubble wrapped that one because I was really scared during the move that it was gonna get crushed because some of these boxes have a little bit of bends in them. I figured we could do a fun video, which is also kind of a sad video where I go, which pops were damaged in the move? Because some of our shelves definitely got beat up in the move. Um, Bailey's is like peeling in some areas. The bottom of one of my shelves is like really, really dented up and like broken. So I might have to get one new one. I don't know if you guys can see, but that is a mess from all those videos. So, geez. But uh, this is all pops that I'm like selling and stuff like that. So. Uh, this is just a big box that should actually go in the closet. So once we have a bunch of boxes over there, too I didn't fully think this all through while I was doing it, but yeah, it's okay um, This is the box that we actually use to fill up the shelves currently and this one can just go up here and I'm glad I have carpet now I can actually like Like move around more. It's not like wood and things like that because like, if I was on the wood on my knees like this, it would hurt horribly. Uh, let's put this up here. I realized how that sounded and nobody make the joke. Anime pops. Surprise, surprise, I have anime pops. We're gonna put this one over here. And yeah, so now we have to fix the shelves. Let me put these back in the boxes really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're gonna move the shelves. The only bad thing about this is that I'm gonna be covering that plug, but at least we have that plug. And I think we have a plug over there that we'll probably uncover for the time being, but yeah. That's a little bit of a bummer, just in case I want to get like LED lights for the top. I'm not exactly sure yet, but um, yeah. So we're going to corner this one. Well, probably should move them along so I can, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get this out safely without damaging the wall. Okay, so this one, it's going to go a little bit more. I feel like I should have vacuumed this office again, even though they cleaned the house before we moved in, but mm, it, it should be okay. It's okay. There's nothing really gonna go back there anyways. All right, so we're just gonna go back here. Yeah, parts of the shelves are damaged, I can see. Is this, yeah, this one's the broken, here, let me actually show you guys what I'm referring to. So, um, what I mean is, if you guys can kind of see, it broke on the bottom pieces. So that kind of sucks, and I think it did the same on the other side. Oh no, the other side's fine, but yeah. It broke, so eventually I'm gonna have to replace the shelf. All right, so back to it. We are going to corner off the shelf and make sure it is good to go. If we leave enough room, we could probably still fit some wires through there, so I think that is good enough. So what Bailey did in her office was very interesting. This one was actually pushed back more, and these were raised more in the, uh, the front, so it didn't look as weird when you're trying to like corner them, but I don't think I did it. Oh, oh, I gotta bring it forward, that's why. Okay, so this, uh, bring this back more. Oh yeah, cause, so that's something she kind of did to kind of offset that whole weirdness. Cause on carpet, 
Um, it makes the uh, shells kind of like bend that way instead of staying straight since it's basically just unlevel essentially. So what I thought about doing in the future, if this doesn't end up working out, I will probably just get like some wood paneling that I'll put under the shelves so it raises it and it can sit flat. All right, hopefully that is not gonna look too weird. So yeah, I'm kind of copying Bailey a little bit here, but it's, it's okay. Uh, oh, I'm not near it yet. Come on. Ah, that's like near the wall. Do I need a... Is the bottom not back more? That makes sense. All right, yeah, it's creating this weird... I think I need to turn it more. There we kinda... Yeah, see, let me, let me show you guys what I mean. This is what I hate about carpet in offices, but I prefer carpet because it's better for soundproofing when videos, but you guys see how it doesn't sit exactly flush? Like this one, it should sit a little bit more this way. I don't know, I gotta figure this out. All right guys, so after doing some Django, we finally got it all set up. So unfortunately, these just do not sit perfectly. So putting this in the back was the best possible thing you could do with these. And then for the rest of them, like over here, I'm gonna space one out right here and then space two out over here. Now for this back wall, Bailey was recommending that I do mostly out of box, which I did want to do more out of box. However, um, the reason for it is because of the glare from the camera and things like that. But I don't know, we're gonna kind of see how that goes because I would like to mix in box and out of box. All right, so I put in all the shelves and it's looking really, really good. Now we're gonna put some pops in there. Uh, we're kind of gonna decide as we go, but I did decide that I wanted to give Full Metal Alchemist and Sword Art Online some limelight there. So those are the ones that I chose in front. A lot of the Sword Art Online pops look pretty similar so until we get more characters I put more full metal there so we have Edward, Scar, Olivier and then we have Alex Armstrong, Alphonse and Winry. I do have King Bradley. Once I get more of the full metal set I might just make the entire row but for now they are going to share the shelf. Another thought I had was my pop games like Resident Evil, Borderlands, Sly Cooper and a couple others those are all going to go in the second office so I'm going to keep them in this box. So opening up this box this is exactly the box I was looking for. It does have the one piece and I do want to put one piece pops like in the middle because I want to display them out of box. So we're just going to yoink all of these, we got Ace, Chopper, um, I think Gear 4 is in here, hopefully. That's Sanji. Oh, wait, I think the boxes are mixed. I don't think this is all the one piece. Oh, no, I think this is mixed with other things. We did find the core piece to our one piece collection, though, the Luffy on Going Merry. Like I said, I bubble wrapped this thing, even though it was in a box and it should have been good. I made sure to bubble wrap it. So I'm gonna take this out of the bubble wrap and we're gonna take it out of the box and put it on one of these shelves. Come out, come out. I've not seen my Funko Pops for days. So I just realized that's probably really loud. All right, make sure there's no damage. No, he looks good. I mean, he's getting taken out of the box either way. Oh, I think a little corner, oh no. Do you guys kind of see it? It's a little damage, it's okay though. All right, so. Let's go ahead and take him out. There's like tape on my finger. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. I don't know guys, between Naruto and this one, I might have to give it to Luffy. <laughs> if the Naruto glows in the dark though, that is going to kill it. Oh, because usually sometimes at LACC, they do other variants. Like remember the, uh, the Spider-Man one? Oh, I can't remember, but it was an LACC exclusive. I can't remember exactly what it's called but he did have a metallic variant. So it's very possible they could do a glow-in-the-dark variant as like a con-only thing. Oh that'll, oh, that'll make me so mad. Everything's intact. Cool, cool. I don't want to tempt it, but yeah, guys, he's good. So he is gonna go probably right there, to be honest. That looks good. Let me show you guys. So this, oops. This is what he looks like, guys, on the shelf. So I'm gonna get the box behind him and then probably display the rest of the straw hats around him. So far, this is kind of what it's looking like here. Now, unfortunately, this box is so tall that I can't put other boxes on top unless they're sideways. That's gonna look a little weird, so I don't know how exactly how this is all gonna work. I can at least put three more boxes. So we'll probably get Nami and then, who else am I thinking? Nico, Robin, and Zoro. Hmm, yeah. I can fit those three. And then I'll probably just put like Luffy Gear 4 out of box. We might continue the One Piece shelf down here though, to be honest, because I do want to do more characters. Hooray, I found the rest of the One Piece. I'm so glad I marked these boxes. So we have Crocodile in here. Do we have any more? 
Uh, Boa, I see Sabo in the back, but I'm only seeing a few characters, so it's kind of scaring me. Oh, we got my other chopper down there, so this should definitely be all of them. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update as to where I am. This thing is looking really good, to be honest. I'm very, very excited on how this is turning out. So one piece here, we have the uh, Gear 4 up there. We do have Brook there. Shanks had to put him in there. That is the custom Bloody Zoro from Chris Sabat. He wrote on the side, great working with you, Skittle, when I did a... Uh, live with him on whatnot, which was awesome. Nico Robin, Nami, and then most of the straw hats, to be honest, Ace mixed in there. One Piece shelf is looking glorious. And then we also do have some Naruto down here. So I kind of just put out out of box my favorite ones, to be honest. There was no real rhyme or reason other than that. So we have the moment. This is actually going to be Sakura. I wanted to put Sakura next to those two. So I just can't find her yet. So Toby is there for the time being. Up there, Minato the goat. Kakashi there, that's one of my favorite versions of him, so I decided to go with that one. Madara, and then we do have uh, the three Naruto's right there. I thought about putting Sasuke in the middle, but then I saw this one, I was like, eh, I'd rather do the transformation jutsu. Um, and then we do have Pain and my Konan custom there that somebody gifted a while back. So yeah, so far we have One Piece and we have Naruto. This is going to be Bleach over here, I think, or the top most likely, and then this is going to be Dragon Ball and maybe Hunter x Hunter, but I'll update you guys in a second. So far, this is what we got. So mini update, I actually had to switch Naruto and One Piece because I forgot Naruto has 6-inch pops, and I felt like that looked better. So, yeah. So to give you a quick update on everything I've done, we have Naruto there, we have One Piece there, we did Bleach, and then we mixed it with Jujutsu Kaisen since there's only two pops out, as well as I only have two of the Death Note pops, so it ended up working out. Down there, we have Demon Slayer. Not all of them, but most of them. And then that's just going to be for overstock of the other boxes, for example, and I'll swap them out if I want to. And then we also do have Dragon Ball Z, so this is split up with, like, Z Warriors, essentially, and, like, Hero and Good Guys. And then up here are the bad guys. So for the bad guys, I chose some interesting ones. Kid Buu there, we have Perfect Cell, Dodoria, Android 16, and 18. Then we have Majin Vegeta. I, he, I mean, he was like kind of killing people, so I'm gonna label him as a bad guy at that point. Uh, we do have Beerus there, obviously God of Destruction. Not exactly a great guy, but yeah, he'll destroy you at any time. Mecha Frieza there. I had a big choice to make between Mecha Frieza and Golden Frieza, but I love Mecha Frieza, so I chose that one. Jiren, he's not necessarily a bad guy, but he's kind of a jerk sometimes. So, And then Zamasu there, obviously bad guy, and it's the glow-in-the-dark one, so definitely going to be cool out of box. Hit there, an assassin, so you can, he's, he's nice sometimes, but teetering the edge there. And then Broly, of course, he destroyed a couple galaxies so yeah and up top over here i did put some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! six inch pops out of box so they look pretty good there i still gotta find purunga i swear i have it in my collection but i can't find it in any of the boxes so maybe i don't so i'm gonna have to find something to fit there maybe one of the extra naruto pops i don't know though i'm out of naruto six inch pops so that might look weird up there i'm gonna fill that somehow and then right here still unsure what's gonna go here here and here so yeah but so far for a background, this is looking awesome. Much better than the original one. All right guys, so this is the recording corner. It is pretty much complete. I haven't figured out what's gonna go up there, but I'm too tired to figure it out tonight. So I'll just do it another time. But yeah, guys, we have some Demon Slayer. We have Black Clover and Full Metal Alchemist right there. We have Tokyo Ghoul down there. A Bunch of extra storage on the bottom. You guys won't really see it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, some Dragon Ball Z. I did put Attack on Titan up here. That's pretty much all I have for Attack on Titan, actually. I'll get more, maybe, eventually. Then up there, we do have the Dragon Ball Z 6-inch uh, pops. I did put Stardust Dragon over here just to kind of fill the space for now. And then over here, I just kind of spread those out a little bit more. And then the Naruto up top. So, yeah, guys, this is the recording corner. I think it looks great. And with that, guys, we are kind of moved into the new office. Obviously, I still have a bunch of cleaning to do. There's stuff everywhere. I did put some boxes in the closet as well over there. But, oh, and I still got to figure out this shelf. And then I got to build one more shelf. But 
Um, this will probably be the last video and then I'll do a full kind of like office tour here pretty soon when I'm done with everything. So make sure to look forward to that. So I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this little mini series. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. It does help me out a lot and it helps me continue doing things just like this. So show some love on the like button as well as comment down below. Uh, what was your favorite display out of everything I did and how do you guys feel about it? Rate it one through 10, I guess so far. To end off the video, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely Absolutely amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the page on the link is down below. We have a patron only discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And you can meet a ton of great people in there. We have roughly 200 members. Now we also do have a Facebook group with over 15,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.